say we should bless over the bad as over the good. The question is, in the 10, I noticed that pleasant, unpleasant states appeared and ultimately they brought us closer. Is this thing, if we do it more often, we'll be able to turn it into a habit so that in parallel to the unpleasant feeling, we'll feel the advantage in it? Of course, we have to get used to working this way. This is our work, to locate more places where we should be corrected and immediately ask the Creator not to try to create the connections by ourselves. We should be happy that we are revealing the distance between us, the gap, the, the resistance, the hatred, the opposition, because then it's an opportunity to ask the Creator to come and correct. Our problem is that we think that it's enough for us to reveal the bad and then we connect among us. That's incorrect. We shouldn't do that. We shouldn't connect by our own forces. It's all an illusion. We have no forces of correction. We instead have to see in our good inclination to connect, we have to see it as a disturbance because we can't turn to the Creator. And then we have to stand against this disturbance. And we, we want to be needy of the Creator every time to come and correct even this the, the, the smallest details. I hope you're listening. And when the hate appears, in order to turn to the Creator, you have to reach resistance and inability. And for the most part, even without the inability, even without it, immediately try to turn to Him. You don't need to feel that you're broken, helpless. If you need it, the Creator will give it. But there's a, there's a reason to turn to the Creator in the slightest lack of connection between us. It's, I immediately turn to Him. Why should I wait to, to, to see that we are in real hatred? The Creator will, will set it up for us if, if need be. But we, even in the smallest detail that appears, we should immediately turn to Him and constantly be in contact with Him and try to reveal Him every time. And if we do this, then each moment we are in disconnection and connection, disconnection and connection. We need to understand that the whole, our whole purpose, our whole direction should be the Creator. And then where can I discover Him? Where can I awaken Him? Where do I bring Him closer? And this is what we should do. This is called the work of the Creator, revealing where the Creator can do the work. Use Him every single moment, in every single way that you see that is missing. If some wholeness is missing, wholeness. And we need wholeness in everything. We we're lacking wholeness in everything. So let's demand the Creator to appear and do it. You understand that every single moment, each of us and all of us together have to chase Him and demand of Him to come and, and, and correct and connect. By this you bring him contentment, and by nothing else.